Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Infotech with Zafar Khan. Today's agenda of this lecture is we will discuss about Nginx. We will know in details what Nginx is and how Nginx is work. We will understand architecture of Nginx. We will also install the Nginx in Ubuntu machine. So basically we will do the full practical how Nginx is working. So first let us understand what is Nginx. So Nginx is an open source software for web serving that can be used as a Rebox proxy, load balancing, main proxy, HTTP cache, media streaming and many more. Okay, so now Rebox proxy reverse proxy which is basically access of proxy server but in opposite direction you need to know why nginx is called reverse proxy because it acts as a gateway between the users and the application server so this is the user and this is the application server so this reverse proxy is acts as a gateway it receives the request from the users and forward them to the application server and then returns the response back to the users from the application server. So that is why it is called Rebox proxy. Main use of Nginx is load balancer. So oh now what is load balancing? Load balancing refers to efficiently distributing incoming network traffic across a group of backend server modern high traffic websites serves millions of concurrent requests from user and return to correct text images videos or application data all in a fast and reliable manner so a load balancer acts as a traffic copse sitting in front of server and routing client request across all the servers capable of fulfilling those requests in a manner that maximize speed and capacity utilization it also ensures that not a single server is overworked it distributed equally in all server so if any of the server goes down the load balancer redirects traffic to remaining online server when a new server is added to the server group the load balancer automatically start and send a request to it the in nutshell a load balancer performs distribute client request or network load uh, efficiently across multiple servers it also ensure high availability and reliability by sending requests only to servers that are online. It also provides the flexibility to add or subtract servers as demand dictates. Now main proxy, main proxy is nothing but a forward proxy. It also use, uh, Nginx is basically also use HTTP cache. Uh, you can store uh, your data in a cache instead of server and then uh, this cache will be used for serving the traffic it also used for media streaming a media streaming can be uh, streamed either live or on demand as well podcast webcast movie tv show and music videos all are a common forms of streaming content nowadays tata ipl is going on on that uh, that is also a live streaming so nginx is used by several hosting companies now let us discuss about the nginx and apache so why wanted to discuss basically apache is also web server then what is the difference between the apache and nginx the main difference between the nginx and apache web server is that nginx has event driven architecture means 
handling multiple requests within a single thread while apache is a process driven creating a single thread for each request also performance wise nginx have better performance than apache now let's do the practical so first we will create uh, three instances uh, using ubuntu so to save our time i have already created the three instances one is the load balancer and the other two is the server one and server two so we will configure in such a way that this load balancer will distribute the traffic to server one and server two so first we will install the nginx in all three servers so these are the ubuntu servers so let's start now let's do first in the load balancer so i will copy the public ip and we'll do the connectivity ssh hyphen i ubuntu key dot pm it's a user ubuntu at the rate of public ip yes Yeah, so now we have connected and we will switch this normal user to sudo user. Right, so apt update first. I am doing from sketch so that you, uh, you will not able to miss anything. So that's why I wanted to show you from the scratch. So it's done now. So let's install the apt install nginx. It will ask why. I forgot to mention why. Yeah, so it's completed now. So we will start the service as well. System CTL start and Linux will also enable. Nginx it is enabled now so you can check it system CTL status Nginx so here in this server Nginx is now active so to identify that we will uh, rename it okay so for IP address we are not able to uh, identify we could not remember it always so let's set this with the load balancer with the name of load balancing. So host name CTL, host name CTL, set host name load balancing bash. Yeah. So now we are able to see that we can easily identify that we are in this load balancing server. Okay. So now similarly we will uh, log into the other server as well. SSH hyphen I Ubuntu dot m one to at the rate of then we have first server public IP of the first server copy it paste over here yes okay 
so do su now do here as well apt update hyphen y Now install the Nginx apt install nginx hyphen y right then system ctl start nginx system ctl enable nginx CTL status and Linux. So it is now running, right? So the second server, I mean, server one is also completed, load balancing server also completed. Now we will connect similarly, so we will do for uh, the uh, server two, okay? So again, I will do in the another terminal oh, why i am going in the desktop because our tem file is in the desktop so that's why i have to go in this directory desktop directory okay i'll show you so here the pem file ubuntu.kpm so that's why our local directory is our desktop so that's why i have when, when I log in it, it will be in another uh, directory. I have to move in the desktop because it is my PM file is our in desktop, right? SSH hyphen and I want to key dot pen. to at the rate of the server 2 public IP of server 2 yeah yes sudo su apt update iphone y apt install Genics hyphen Y so clear the screen and start the system CTL start. And Linux system CTL enable and Linux. You can also check this in the browser as well. So if you copy this one and just click over here, paste the public IP, 
it will show that welcome to nginx and it is was successfully installed and working right so you can also check here and you can also check here the by giving the command status system ctl status nginx it will show active it is running right so all three servers uh, in all three servers we have installed the nginx but uh, i don't know what is this server so let's basically uh, so server 2 but through ip address you cannot identify so better to change this one oh. host name ctl ctl set host name server 2 bash so it is showing the server 2 right similarly i think in server 1 we have done we haven't done so host name ctl set host name server 1 bash so it is now showing server 1 so rather than ip address it will reflect the server 1 right so let's clear the screen so all three servers we have done okay now uh, in the server 1 we have to change some file we have to there uh, by default they create an index index.html uh, file okay so we need to change it because we will write our code sorry cd slash var not vat www.html so here by default when you install the nginx it will create this so either you can room remove this one or you can modify this one so better to remove and create yourself okay so rm hyphen rf just remove this one okay so we don't have anything now right so vi index dot html i will write a simple code over here okay to show you this is our server one right so I will write a HTML file, simple HTML file, body text is equal to black, we will write something about with black color, black and background color pg color let's put any color pink then we will keep it in center and we will also put br next line next line How many, how many five one two three four five one more put yeah then you can put over here the comments h1 this is server one h1 one more line i wanted to add over here H2 you are watching the game H2 then we will close the center then we will close the body as well
and then finally we'll close the HTML. So what I will do to save our time just copy this one and same activity we will do in the server 2 as well. So let's copy this one. We have two line is enough. So let's save it okay and similarly we will do for the server 2 as well so we are we are in load balancer here so that is why we are able to identify so we are in the load balancer so now server 2 is for this probably yes so cd slash var slash www slash html index dot html and the next debian dot html yeah so we don't have now right so we change this one as yellow and change the message as well this is our server 2 let's change the message also right so now two servers we have completed server 1 and server 2 small code we have written okay so now in the load balancer we have to do some configuration so let's go to the load balancer server this is our load balancer server it is showing load balance right so here what we will do we will go to the directory cd slash etc slash nginx slash uh, sites available level right so here also a default uh, file is there okay what you will do you can either modify on the same file or you can remove this file and you can create the default file by yourself it's up to you okay so what I will do I will modify in the same default file so here code is already written so what I will do I will hash out it for all I don't want to use the existing one I will use whatever I will write over here approximately same type of code I will write over here so I will show you what exactly I am writing so let's hash out it first Remember everything should be hash out otherwise it will give the error. One more curly braces is there. So let's hash out it as well. Okay. 
now nothing is there. So what I will do, I will write our code. So what I will do, I will write our code server then listener fifty. So listener spelling is wrong. We'll use the listener eighty and then server underscore name put any name text dot info dot test. Okay. You can put any name text not tech T E C H. info.tech it's up to you you can put any name over there okay now this is the important one location proxy pass proxy underscore pass http colon slash slash infotech So this is basically uh, in this infotech will pass the proxy to the private IP of the uh, the other server one and server two. Okay. One more required. Yes. Okay. So now how it will pass? So basically we have to configure also for upstream upstream infotech infotech so server and then the private IP of the server one so what is the private IP of server one private IP of server one is this so just copy and paste over here and semicolon Similarly for server 2, server and then private IP of server 2. Put the server. Don't forget to put the semicolon, otherwise it will give the error, right? So now close this one. Fine, so we have closed this one. Yeah, so we have done also the configuration on the load balancing. So just save it and if we restart the service. System CTL restart Nginx. Nginx. Yeah, so we have done it. And also, one important thing that in your host file if you are working in your local pc in your host file you can put this one let me show you vi default you have to configure this this one with the public ip address of this load balancing server okay in your host file if you are working in a local machine then in, in the host file of local machine, you have to configure the tech.info.tech, a uh, test.infotech.tech, and then the public IP of the uh, this load balancing server. Either way, you can use this one, or you can directly use the public IP of the web server, load balancing server in a browser. So what I will do, I will use directly the same thing. Okay. So now we have configured it and let's check the load balancing is working or not. Okay. So let's copy this public IP, go to the browser and click over here. So this is the server one. You are watching my YouTube channel Infotech with Zafar Khan. So this is our server one. 
but why the color not not color has not been changed let me check in the server one this is the server one yeah index html maybe color spelling is wrong so that's why the color has been not changed c o l o r color sorry yeah so when when i refresh it it might go it might distribute the traffic to server 2 as well server 2 i think uh, here the in color is now coming so the same spelling i did mistake on server 2 as well so let me to we are in server 2 okay why e double l o w and this color so this is our server one and you are watching my youtube channel infotech with zafar khan when we refresh it it will yellow color the second server that means it's distributing the traffic to other different servers okay right when you click it refresh it it will distribute the traffic so this is called a load balancing right so now nginx is a powerful web server web server software used by the several hosting companies it was designed to handle a high volume of request simultaneously therefore it offers faster loading times and better performance than most other web servers right so this is overall the uh, nginx which i wanted to show you so if you have any queries leave this message in the comment section we'll reply soon we will meet again with the new video thanks for watching if you like this video don't forget to click the subscribe button please